Good day, cobbers. Going to do an Australian pie. <laughs> but maybe I'll ditch the accent. I'm going to make chicken and camembert pie. Before I start, I've got to do a shout out to Russell Gibbon in sunny Mexico, who requested that I do fondant potatoes. And I did them the other day and I completely forgot to give him a shout out. So there's a shout out, Russell. Okay, I'm doing this thing that I've never heard of till yesterday because it was requested by Lisa Potter in Australia. Chicken and camembert pie. And she requested it because she says nobody's got a decent recipe online. And she's not wrong. I've really struggled to find anything that makes any kind of sense. So what I'm going to do is basically sort of invent it a little bit. And it should be marvellous because I do know how to make a nice pie, honestly. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, press like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get going. Right, you can't have a pie without pastry. So um, what I'm going to do is a bit unusual I suppose. I'm going to use rough puff pastry for the top and I'm going to make hot water pastry for the bottom. I, I'm not a massive fan of puff pastry to be honest. Um, it's okay on sausage rolls but really on pies I, I don't go for it. But many shops and commercial bakers do. I don't know why, maybe you think it, it makes it look like you're getting more because the pastry is expanded. Who can tell? Uh, anyway, so I've actually made my own rough puff pastry and I'll do a separate video of that and I'll put a link down below. But of course, you can buy your own and I'm sure you will. It's just, if you've got 45 minutes to spare, you can make your own rough puff pastry and it's marvellous. So try it, it's not as hard as you think. But you don't want to use that for the bottom casing of the pie because it, it'll just be weird. It'll, it'll be, well, too much butter probably and it won't, it won't puff up and you don't want it to. As I said, I'm using a hot water pastry. You could also use short crust pastry. You know, hot water pastry is my favorite. It's, it's really quick, easy to do. So I've got 250 grams of plain all purpose flour, half teaspoon of salt, 125 ml of water, and 100 grams of lard. Or you could use butter, shortening, any, any fat that sets solid at room temperature, basically. So what we need to do is heat the water and melt the lard into it. Be careful when you're adding fat to what might be hot water because it'll spit and splutter a bit. Okay, lard's all melted, so I'm gonna pour half the mixture into the flour, stir that in. I'll just do this in two stages because uh, it's easier. So when you've got the first bit in, add the rest. And I think a lot of people are scared of hot water pastry because they think that you must use it when it's hot. And it, it is, it, you know, I wouldn't touch that now. That's just gone off boiling. But you don't, you can use it just as well when it's chilled. When I've done this, I'll wrap it in plastic film and stick it in the fridge and by the time I've done the filling it'll be cold enough to work with. Okay I'm going to start making the filling so I need two boneless skinless chicken breasts. I'm going to make my own. There we go and just pull the skin off and as always when you've been dealing with raw poultry or fish, uh, wash everything thoroughly that it's been in contact with. So that's your, your knife, your board, your hands, your camera. <laughs> that was a bit previous. You need to cut this into chunks before you're done. Right, ingredients for the filling. I've got the two chicken breasts diced, 250 grams of camembert, about a half cup of double cream, heavy cream, a small handful of flat leaf parsley, stick of celery, carrot, a couple of small onions, 250 ml of chicken stock, pinch of salt if needed, a uh, half teaspoon of ground white pepper, a teaspoon of ground oregano. I need to chop these quite finely. Are you ready? 
All right, we need to tootle over to the stove and start cooking. Now I'm heating a good glug of oil in a frying pan on low heat. And we'll add the onion and the celery and the carrot. When you've got the veggies coated in oil, they're just gently cooking away. Put a lid on it, leave it for 10 minutes. When the veggies are softened, add the chicken and stir that around to get rid of the pinkness. But we don't really want to colour it, we just want it to go white. Then add the chicken stock and turn up the heat, bring that to the boil and then turn it down and simmer for about 10 minutes. At this point you can add the pepper, the oregano and the chopped up parsley. Don't add salt until you taste it at the end. So when that's cooked for about 10 minutes add about half a cup of cream and let that simmer and then give it a taste and add salt if it needs it. Alright, I've tasted that, it really does need salt, so chuck some in. Now the sauce should be quite thick, if it's too runny make up a slurry of one part water and one part flour, so just a teaspoon of each. Mix those together and stir them into the sauce. And cook them for a bit and that will thicken it. Once the filling is cooked, take it off the heat and let it cool down. Right, I'm going to do two straight sided ones in these, using these cutters and um, some <laughs> use, use my old, my trusty old pie dishes. Preheat the oven to 190 Celsius if it's a fan convection oven. That's 210 for a normal one and that's gas 7. That's 10 centimetres. Four inches diameter. Okay, um, you'll be wanting to buy those, so I'll put a link down below for you. All right, these are definitely non-stick, so I'm going to butter them, and I will also flour them later on. Right, we need to do the tops first. So make sure you're using the puff pastry, not the hot water one. Take a rim, cut a lid. But now we get some of the hot water pastry and we'll roll that out to make the bases. So scatter some flour on one side of the, the pastry and then push it into the ring. Being careful not to tear it or fold it or do any bad things. And we'll get it right down to the bottom. Okay, and then cut the excess off but leave a, a margin of about a centimetre. Let's uh, assemble these two pies. So I've got the filling, nice and cold. And just pop it in there about three quarters full. Now I need my camembert. I love this stuff when you bake it whole. Oh. Just cut some chunks off that. Squidge it out a bit. Is that enough? I don't know. Well, I need to say bit for the other thighs. All right, there you go. All right, so stick the lid on, just moisten the inner edge of the rim with water. Place that in and squeeze it. A little bit of crimping. <laughs> now I've got a beaten egg mixed with a bit of milk, uh, which is known as egg wash, and we'll just paint the top with it. And I'm gonna score some lines in the top just uh, for decoration basically. Right, time to put these in the oven. This one is an experiment, the one with the toothpick. It has got a puff pastry bottom, just so I can see if what I said earlier was actually true or, you know, whether it works. So, there we go. Right, they go in for, I don't know, 30 to 35 minutes.
Okay, there's our fabulous looking pies. We've had a bit of leakage, but um, I think we're okay. So we just need to let them cool down for about five minutes and then we'll try and get them out their tins. And now it's Mrs. Keith Cooks back from that London. Where it was warm and sunny. It's warm and sunny here. It's blooming freezing up north. <laughs> well, it's a. Bill. <coughs> Cold hands, huh? Warm heart. Warm heart. There we go. Okay, pie pie. Ugh. Oh, yeah, ask me. Cold. It's a pie. Pie. Oh yeah, I was going to ask why. Why is there a okay. stick in that one? Because this is, is the experimental powders? one. Oh, aye. Which has perf pastry on the bottom and the top. Okay. And that one's just got short crust. No, it's got hot water pastry on the bottom and puff pastry on the top. Right. Okay. I love that one. Right, let's see what this one does. So, I'm not sure there's a whole lot of difference. You have to taste and see. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> I can tell it's dairy, and that's about it. I'm not really, really able to tell what I'm tasting. Are there mushrooms in this? No. No? Okay. I can taste leeks and there aren't leeks in it. Mm. It's very weird. I yeah, can't I taste cheese. Yeah, I don't know what to expect <laughs> with this because um, chicken and cheese I've heard of, but... Um... Oh, it's nice though. Mm. Yeah. I sc still... You know, if you sat me down and said, um, so what's in there? I would, I would fail that taste test completely. I can see there's onion. It's, no, this is, this is really nice. So how come Australians are eating chicken and camembert pie? Did that escape from some chef's kitchen or did, or what? I have no idea. It's, um, it's hmm. such an odd one, I think. No, what? Well, no. Who would um, come up with this? Remember we did the uh, mince beef from cheese. And I stuffing. called it an Australian pie. But Australian pie. There's been a huge argument on the comments on that. Uh, mainly from Kiwis saying, Oi, it's ours. And Australians, it's only a thing in a couple of cities, not all of them. So, yeah. And as for this, I'm making no claims, except it's nice. It is nice. Mm. You'd not make this wouldn't make a good picnic pie. It's sloppy. It's going to be sloppy. <laughs> but um, mm. oh. yeah, that's nice. Now. Okay. All right then. Get it made. Thanks for watching, and see you see next time. time.